Hey all, here at OS Reviews. In the past, we've checked out many Pico DLP projectors, which have been super compact, easy to take with you when on the go, but oftentimes portability is the antithesis of brightness. Inevitably, as you get smaller and smaller, you have to pack in a tiny lens that usually has lower resolution as well as just lower brightness output. Typically, these ones here have around 100 to 150 ANSI lumens, meaning Pico projectors are decent when you're in darker environments, but as there is a little bit more light that creeps in, it becomes harder to make out what's happening. Today's product though tries to break that mold. It's another projector from AAXA and this is their P6X Pico projector claiming to be the world's brightest battery powered Pico unit with up to 1000 ANSI lumens, an incredible 10 times increase in brightness level versus the average DLP unit. It also packs in a ginormous battery which can get you up to four hours of runtime on a full charge. Granted that is at the eco mode with 1000 lumens is typically a rating that you'll find on home theater style projectors which are much larger and bulkier, at least three to four times bigger and more expensive as well. This unit by the way sells for around 350 bucks. The native resolution output by the way is WXGA so it's a little bit higher than 720p HD resolution. You can get between six to 160 inches when projected onto the wall and the LEDs on here they are powered by Osram resistant to bumps and shock as well as up to six times longer lasting than a conventional bulb based projector. So in the packaging here we have of course just the unit itself along with a quick start guide. Other packaging accessories inclusive of a small tripod. There's also a component cable if you don't want to use HDMI and there's also a bundled remote which is one thing I do wish they would actually opt for instead of a cell CR25 battery a AAA battery approach would be a little bit more easy to replace place but it is what it is. You also get the charger adapter which is kind of large. It's similar in size in fact to a laptop charger but it does the trick. Uses a barrel plug juices up in around two and a half hours. Now taking a closer look at the projector itself, as aforementioned, compared to a normal Pico unit, it still is larger. Here for size comparison, and you can tell that in terms of thickness, it's also gonna be bulkier as well. But ultimately, this is still something that can fit into a backpack without too many problems, just not necessarily pocket-sized, I'd say. Anyways, the construction quality here is decent, made out of a polycarbonate plastic, although it has a very glossy top, uh, which is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but it does look very shiny. The controls also are pretty easy to operate, although the keys here are a little bit on the loose side, but they are still easy enough to use in terms of navigating around. On the back here, we have access to some of the ratings, including the giant 15,000 milliamp hour capacity battery resolution there, and also a battery meter, which is a pretty unique feature. So if I set it onto the charge mode, for instance, you'll see that right now we have roughly 50% battery left. We have the five watt speakers, which are pretty big as well for a projector. You also get the IR receiver for the remote control. The other spine features the power input, USB thumb drive. If you have any local files stored on a memory stick, it can read it back directly. Although it's worth mentioning that this model doesn't have any wireless projection capabilities, but have to connect an HDMI cable or plug in something like a Chromecast of your own to add that capability in, which is not too big of a deal, but just something to keep in mind. AV as well as headphone jack if you don't want to use the built-in speaker, as well as the full-sized HDMI port, a focus dial, and then the switch here for on off and the charging mode. The top here also features a micro SD card slot, which allows you to read back content from a memory stick. And then of course we have the lens itself, which isn't fully covered up. So maybe some type of door in the future to prevent dust would have been nice to have, but overall still looks nice. Bottom here also features a door for the battery in case you need to swap it out, soft touch rubber feet, and then also the standard thread mounted tripod uh, screw. Because this unit doesn't really rely on Android, it's very quick to boot up, taking just about a second or two, and it's jumps to life. Right now it's noon, so the sun is out, and it's a pretty bright day. Currently, we still have all the blinds open behind me and sunlight is flooding into this room. But as you can see, this projector has no issues in terms of being visible on the brightest setting, which you have to access when plugged into power. But again, you can still reach the 1000 ANSI lumens in the battery mode. But when plugged in, you're able to reach an even brighter 1100 ANSI lumen rating, which again is just extremely bright. Now, just for comparison here, we have the other 
portable Pico projector. I'm going to cast the uh, same image kind of over this wall, and you get the difference there. 100 lumens versus 1,000. That's kind of the difference in brightness that we're looking at. Now, if everything is pitch dark, perhaps it doesn't matter quite as much, even though the image will still be a little bit more dim and muted. But especially when there is a bit of sunlight, if you're using this in an office environment, giving a presentation, this is going to matter a lot more. Further completely turn off all the lights, you get an even better image quality. Now, what's worth mentioning, though, is that the brightest mode, 1,100 anti-lumens, the fan definitely kicks in and it's a little bit more aggressive. Speaking of, if we jump directly into the aforementioned brightness controls and we go over to standard, which is again a thousand anti-lumens, you'll hear a noticeable decrease in the fan noise. Finally, the eco mode, that's going to further reduce the brightness, which you can tell here, uh, but will also dramatically decrease the fan noise, which is 66% dimmer than the standard mode. In other words, you're getting roughly 330 ANSI lumens, still brighter than the comparable other pocket units with 100 to 150. Back to the main menu, very simple. It just gets you a grid of icons such as watching back videos, music, photos, if you have that plugged into a thumb drive or an SD card. Again, there is no built-in Android OS, so quite simple here. There's also no auto keystone correction, so if you want to control things like tilt, you have to manually go into settings or change the position of the projector itself. So pretty bare bones in that sense, but we can tap on the aforementioned settings to control things like the speaker properties along with picture controls such as the color temperature you can also fine tune to make it warmer colder the rgb properties can all be further adjusted which is great and also the orientation of the image if you want to flip it around can also be done and that's pretty much it the final setting here is just choosing between hdmi and analog the takeaway here is that this is still sharp enough that if you're using it for doing a little bit of text reading business presentations it still is legible without too many issues we can see that from this web page in that the details on the page are still more than readable. And by the way, right now we have a virtual screen size of roughly 85 inches on the wall. So it's already pretty large and it's not gonna be pin sharp. Of course, the larger that you go, you have less pixels per inch, but things are still easy enough to read. Colors are also decent, uh, a little bit on the cooler side, but again, you can easily calibrate that by going into the RGB properties, depending on what type of image and saturation level you are comfortable with. And video playback test, we're going to see how it fares. We're also using the speakers right now through the projector so you get a sense of what it's like. So some takeaways would be that the speaker quality is actually very good for a one built into a projector because it's 5 watts. It's significantly larger than most of the other pocket units. Actually has a bit of depth in terms of bass when it hits a drum beat, which is quite satisfying. With that being said, the sound isn't the most dynamic, especially in the trebles. So if you are really a sucker for audio, then probably using even better sounding speakers could get you a more immersive experience. Granted, the one built on in is ready perfectly serviceable and above average for a projector speaker, I'd say. Now the overall image quality is also very good in terms of sharpness, especially brightness. In fact, it's so bright that it's almost overwhelming the camera here at times. You see a little bit of that scanning uh, motion, which is invisible to the human eye. It's just an artifact from the camera here, but you are getting just a very pleasant looking image. Of course, a full 1080p native res will get you even more detail, let alone 4K, but that's also going to be a additional multiplicative increase in price. So this strikes a good balance for what you are paying for and ultimately a very big step up compared to 480 that is obviously noticeable in person. Here's another demo of looking at a PowerPoint or Excel if you are in a business environment. And once again, all of these details are still perfectly legible in terms of being read. Similarly, it's very enjoyable for gaming on a larger display, just being more cinematic and immersive as well, even though it is a standard 60 hertz output. What I will say is that blacks on most projectors, it's always gonna be an area where 
if you're comparing it with an OLED or AMOLED display, it's going to not be quite as contrasty, but that's really nitpicking, unless you're looking at a laser projector that has even more rich vibrancy in the colors. But everything else in terms of reds and greens, color details, they're all quite impressive, I have to say, for a unit in this price range, powered by the Texas Instruments DLP chip. So that's more or less it as far as our quick hands-on review of the P6X from AAXA. Again, this is the world's brightest portable battery-powered Pico projector, and it is very impressive in terms of if you need something for giving presentations when there's a bit more light around you. The big battery also is really helpful if you're on the go and further away from an outlet, not to mention that the overall resolution is also relatively clean and good for the overall size and price point of this particular unit. You can check out additional details in the links down below if interested, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.